Hey guys. It is so hot out. The heat index today is one million degrees Kelvin. Actually, the, the proper forecast says that it's going to be 98 degrees on the high today, but by the time the sun comes up in the morning, it's already pretty intolerable. It's like going out into a sauna, which is why today's video is called, I don't want a garden anymore. Some of you I know are in Florida. Some of you are in the Caribbean. Some of you are in Indonesia, the Philippines, and other places. A lot of you are in Florida, Alabama, Georgia, you know, the deep south states. And you know what it's like to have these really, really hot days. And of course, this is the time of year that even further north, it gets pretty hot. But there's something you need to know about gardening in the deep south. And that is, it's okay. It's okay to feel like you do not want to garden. Because a lot of your plants don't really want to grow right now either. Like your cabbages, potatoes, broccoli, lettuce, they're done. The tomatoes are rotting and falling over right now. It's just not the season for a lot of that stuff. And that's okay. It's not that everything has quit growing, of course. The weeds are really growing right now. The grass is really growing right now. But some of your more cool, loving plants are just done. And there's a reason that earlier in the year, after all danger of frost, we plant a lot of vegetables from the tropics. We plant a lot of plants from the tropics. We have pigeon peas, and we have sugar cane, and we have cassava and we just planted a big bed of sun hemp this last week. These things love the heat, and they can go right through the heat. The cannas, the bananas, the malanga, the yams, the sweet potatoes, the okra, all that stuff. It's, it's just really rolling right now. But a lot of the, you know, your carrots and peas and stuff like that, it's over. It's over. And we're about over. So pretty much now, the weeds and the tropical heat-loving vegetables and plants just gotta fight it out amongst themselves because we're just dripping with sweat after just being out for a short period of time. This is the time to go to the beach and sit underneath an umbrella and regularly dunk yourself in the water or to find a friend with a pool because maintaining a pool is expensive so you find friends with pools. You make friends with people that have pools and you go over and you, and you float on a raft in, in your friend's pool and this is when you go to the, the, the city splash pad and, and pretend that you're there for the kids. Even my camera equipment doesn't want to work correctly right now. Everything's blurring from condensation, the humidity levels and the heat. I take the air, you know, I take the camera out of my air conditioned office and it doesn't want to work. It's got to acclimatize forever. Who knows? It's crazy. But you've got to remember Look, even if your camera doesn't want to work, your cabbages don't want to grow. It's the season. We have two main growing seasons in the deep south. We have spring and we have fall. And the summer in the middle is just losing the race against weeds and trying to cut okra before they get so hard that you can't eat them. It's when all the cotton is growing but it's when your salads are long gone. So to remember that, and to remember that, look at even if your plants don't wanna work, you don't have to work. You do your best to keep things under control. That's what we're doing right now. And you just roll with the heat. And 
it makes you thankful for the cool season. And what are you going to do? You don't have to want to garden all the time. It's okay. This is, this is when we thank God for air conditioning and we, we go inside. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I have a book that I need to write. And this heat means it's driving me into my office with he which has an AC unit in the window. And I'm working on that book. Thanks for joining me. I'll try to do a live stream pretty soon here. And don't forget that tomorrow, Saturday, we are having a plant sale despite the heat. And I will put the address and information on that plant sale. Or if you are in lower Alabama or close enough to come by, We've got a lot of plants out of the nursery and we are trying to sell them out. So come on by. I'll make you such a deal. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green.